A very good morning to everyone. I am Tami. We did our experiment based on heat conductivity. I am here to explain shortly about our experiment. The introduction is heat conductivity is the movement of heat from one object to another. So when we have two objects with different temperatures and they come into contact, we can observe heat or thermal conduction. Metals are one of the best heat conductors because they have freely moving electrons that can transfer heat or thermal energy easily and quickly. In this experiment, we use different types of metals which are copper, aluminium, brass, iron and stainless steel to find out which metal is the best heat conductor. Next, we coated one end of the metal rods with wax and heated the other end with flame. We measured the time taken for the wax to melt. The metal which took the shortest time to melt the wax is determined as the best heat conductor in the experiment. Now, my friend Leonard will explain another part. I'm Len. The problem of our experiment is which metal is the best heat conductor. And our aim is to investigate the relationship between different type of metal and time taken for the wax to melt. Variables. Calculated variable. Types of metal. Responding variable. Time taken for the wax to melt. Constant variable. Size of metal rods. Amount of wax. Intensity of flame. The hypothesis that we designed for this experiment is copper will take the shortest time to melt the wax. Materials and apparatus. Materials. Candle wax. Apparatus. Iron rod. Brass rod. Aluminium rod. Copper rod. Stainless steel rod. Wire gauze. Calculator. Tripod stand. Container, lighter, metal holder, stopwatch, heat net, wooden cleat, and Bunsen burner. We innovated this metal holder so that all metal rods receive the same amount of heat. Thank you. Hi, my name is Divika. Now, I would like to move on to the procedure and method of this experiment. We begin this experiment by melting the candle wax into a container. Then, we take the copper rod into the melted candle wax for the first coating. After 10 seconds, we dip the copper rod again into the melted candle wax for the second coating. We repeat the step 2 and 3 with aluminium, iron, brass, stainless steel rods. We place all the fine metal on a tripod stand. We light up the Bunsen burner and place under the tripod stand. We record the time when the candle wax melts and drops down. And finally, we repeat the step 1 to 7 for 5 trials. Let's take 5 for safety because nothing is more important than a safety. This brings me to a topic which is safety precaution. We make sure the experiment is done in indoor and avoid windy places so that the flame is not affected. We make sure the experiment is carried in a flat surface because it's very important to place a Bunsen burner in a flat surface. We make sure the amount of wax coating in all roads are the same. And also we make sure that Bunsen burner is placed in the center of the tripod stand so that every rod receives the same amount of heat. Hi, I am Saburiya here. Now, let's look at our discussion. Based on our observation result,
Cooper took the shortest time to melt the wax, which is an average 1.26 minutes. Second is aluminium, which is 1.43 minutes. Third is brass, which shows 2.43 minutes and followed by iron, which shows 4.24 minutes. Stainless steel took the longest time to melt the wax, which is an average 12.09 minutes. The copper took the shortest time to melt the wax compared to aluminium, brass, iron and stainless steel because it has highest thermal conductivity. Copper has ions with more free moving electrons compared to the other metals. When one end of the copper is heated, the electrons move very fast through the copper from the hot end to the cool end. The other end will reach the same temperature quickly. Stainless steel took the longest time to melt the wax because it has lowest thermal conductivity. Stainless steel is an alloy which is made of mixture of iron and small amount of chromium and nickel. Alloys offer the lower level of thermal conductivity than pure metals. Atoms of different size or atomic weight will vibrate at a different rate which changes the pattern of thermal conductivity. If there is less energy transfer between atoms, there is less conductivity. Now, let's look at the heat conductivity diagram of copper. The left end of the copper rod is hotter. The copper ions at the hot end vibrate more. A free, free electrons collides with an iron at the hot end and gains kinetic energy. It speeds up. It moves to the cold end. It collides with a cold iron making the previously cold iron vibrate more. This heats up the cold end. In this way, energy is transferred through copper from the hot to cold. Now let's look at the conclusion. Copper takes the shortest time to melt the wax. The hypothesis of our experiment is accepted. Thank you. We have found that copper is the best heat conductor. As suggestion and recommendation, we can use copper with different thickness to measure the time taken for the wax to melt. In future, we can try this experiment using other types of metals such as nickel, zinc and chromium. Application in daily life. From this investigation, we learn that Copper has a very high heat conductivity. It is therefore used in many applications where quick heat transfer is important. This includes saucepan bottoms, copper pipes and heat sinks which is used in computers, disk drives and TV sets.